Hey, what is up guys? Guitarok here, welcome back to another My Hero Ultra Impact video. Alright, so if you guys are not aware, My Hero Ultra Impact was released yesterday. I made a video of it and actually, a lot of people are experiencing a very weird issue with the game in where the security issue update, security level is too low and you are not allowed to play the game. Now apparently, at first glance, I thought this is something that's unique to emulators only. But apparently, some people have phones with this issue, so it's pretty crazy. But I found a solution for you guys. You can actually play My Hero Ultra Impact with LD Player. Now this video is sponsored by LD Player, so keep in mind, uh, the staff reach out to me and say, hey, we'll give you a step-by-step -step on how to make this work on LD Player. You do get plenty of benefits if you play this with LD Player, alright? You can definitely play it for a long time without worrying about the battery or heating issues on your phone. Alright, definitely that's a big plus for me because I don't want my phone to be overheating. Playing it on a PC definitely is going to be a better idea in the long run. Also, if you want to, you can write macros to help your gaming progress and you can use macros to trigger combos, etc. And if you want to, since the game has a rerolling feature, you can also make multiple accounts with multi-instance. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Alright, first things first, this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide. So make sure you guys follow step-by-step. -step. Don't skip ahead because you might miss some steps and it will not work. It's a very thorough guide, so make sure you guys follow what I'm doing. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to need a specific LD player version, but... I'll have a link in the description below that you can just download via my referral link. For this particular LD player, you need a 64-bit version. So you can check it in the description below or in the pinned comment section. That will be the link that will lead you guys to download this specific version. LD player 64, 64-bit, uh, 4.0.6.7.1. This is the version that I'm using. Alright, let me guide you guys through a step-by-step -step on how to install My Hero Ultra Impact on LD Player and how to run it successfully without any issues whatsoever. First things first, after you have installed My Hero Ultra Impact, make sure you go to the Google Play Store. That's where I get my, my version of My Hero Ultra Impact. So as you can see, install it right there. So once you have done that, alright, so make sure to close everything first. Don't launch the game yet. I'm not sure if it will affect it, but you want to go here to the system apps, go to the settings. So we're going to look for security. As you can see right here in security, now there's plenty of things. Make sure you guys follow through carefully. We're looking for trusted credentials, which is this one right here. All right. So we are going to disable global sign NV-SA. Now it's a bit, it's a bit crazy right here. It should be under G, all right? Go to G. As you can see, there's plenty of global sign, but we're looking for global sign nv sa all right this is the one that you have to disable so we're going to disable this press disable make sure you select the right one all right this is one of the first step all right now one more thing that you need to do the gear icon right here on the ld player click on settings game settings we're going to disable support atsc texture so this one needs to be disabled because apparently this is also one of the things that makes the game doesn't function properly. So once you've done that, save settings. It will prompt you to restart, so we're gonna restart. Alright, so we're gonna try it again. I'm in My Hero Ultra Impact, let's see if it works this time. Okay, so far it's working correctly up to this point, right? Usually it's at this point when you tap on the screen. Alright, puzzle authentication, so wait for this to load. So we're gonna put this puzzle right here, boom. Okay, so far it's working as intended. So I'm just going to accept all for the terms and conditions. And then this will download 159. Alright, so let's just press OK for now. So let it do its thing. We're going to let it download everything accordingly. As you can see, we managed to launch the game successfully on LD Player. Just to show you guys, I'm actually running it successfully. This is the tutorial part. We're just going to play past this and then we're going to do some reroll after this. Like that was very quick, right? Uh, and then now you get to reroll. This is the fun part. We get to like boom, boom, boom. We get to have a look again. Okay. This one, you get to download the game data. You either choose minimum or maximum. Obviously, I'm just going to go with the maximum one and let the game do its thing for the time being. All right, let's go. Unlimited reroll. So I will link uh, in the description like who I think is the best to reroll for. Basically, there's plenty of combinations. Now, as you can see, I got one UR right here, which is uh, A0 Kirishima, and there's only one UR. So the ideal combination, like as you can see, I will link this in the description below so you guys can see it for yourself. Uh, people have recommended all of this as combination to be able to help you early on in the game. So my personal favorite would be either Green Ochaho plus Green Todoroki or Blue Momo and Blue Bakugo. I would personally prefer the blue team over the green team, but you know, they both have their pros and cons, obviously elements, that's how it works. 
Uh, as for the red, you can either go Deku or Kirishima uh, together, obviously. But you can also get 3 URs, which is what I'm trying to go for. So make sure the 3 UR are characters. The idea here is you want to get characters, not memories. Okay, like here, this Kirishima, right? Yeah, so this is the red Kirishima, the persistence one. And we only got one. Alright, let's redo that. Hopefully we reroll for someone else different. So the entire process is pretty straightforward. Keep rerolling. Oh, we got the green. Green Okaho. Urakara. Green Urakara. And only one of her, Satch. Who is this actually? That's an SR character. I wouldn't bother with SR. A UR is just way superior compared to SR in this game. So let's go even more. Oh, okay, now this is a UR memory, right? As you can see, UR memory. We actually got two UR memory and one UR character, which is not too bad. I got three UR right here, but the ideal, you know, reroll is still to get at least three UR character, not memory. And so far, yeah, I'm going to keep rerolling. All right, guys, I'm going to continue um, rerolling on the account. It's definitely something that's gonna take a while so i'm not sure if i'll be recording this for one hour two hour but definitely if um if you guys want you can actually make multi instance for the emulator as well and big shout out to ld player again for sponsoring this video and if you guys want to download it for yourself to try it out i'll have the links in the description below feel free to download it there as always if you haven't already subscribed give this video a like i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye